Many of you work in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint may use the Format Painter tool to help you to apply format consistently throughout your document. What it does is it takes a format from one area and then it automatically applies all that formatting consistently throughout the document. It's a really handy tool and a lot of people use it. What many people don't know that is that in PowerPoint there's an Animations Painter tool. So if I'm working on animating a document and I want to apply the same formatting or the same animation that I have applied to one part to another part, all I need to do is on the Animations tab, you'll notice I've got this little red ball here, and I've applied some formatting to that or some animation. So I have some animation creating a bounce for this when it comes in. If I want to take that same animation and apply it to the purple cloud, I can do that. By the way, if I apply the animation, use the animation painter, it's only going to apply the animation. It's not going to change the color of the object or the font or anything like that. It works the exact same way as the format painter does. However, all I need to do is click on the object, click on the animation painter, and then click on the object that I want to apply that animation to. If I click once, you'll notice it is now applied the bounce to the cloud. You'll notice it also made that the second object in my animation scheme. So you'll notice the, the ball will come in first and then the cloud. And we can watch that really quickly if I take this out. If I click here, here comes the red ball. And then here comes the same effect applied to the purple cloud. Again, all you need to do is click on the item that has the animation that you want, click on the animation painter, and then click on the object where you want to apply that feature.